I made a video game. I thought I should tell you about it. So this is called Star Crush Inc. It's a space shooter game in which you go around space shooting exoplanets. I'll tell you more about it later, but this is my first video game that I've ever made. And you might have a lot of questions. For example, why am I doing this? What engine did I use? And why did I name my game Star Crusher Inc. when you're actually destroying planets? I can actually tell you the answer to that question. I named it Star Crusher Inc. because I couldn't name it Exterminatus. Exterminatus is a 40k reference. And you can look it up on the internet. It's basically facts of destroying planets. But then I thought maybe the company behind 40k will uh, come after me uh, with a season desist order. So, and then Planet Crusher doesn't really sound cool. So I went with Star Crusher Inc. And to answer your other two questions, we'll have to go back by a month. So one day I was doom scrolling like every other day. And then I came across a shot from Pirate Software. If you're not familiar, he's a very famous streamer and a game developer. So when I saw Pirate Software talking about making games, it kind of made me feel like, you know, I've always wanted to make games, but I've never done it because the process seems so daunting because I am not a programmer, first of all. And game development is a very programming heavy industry. You can't make games without logic. I mean, you can do visual scripting, but I've always felt like there will be limitations if I go with uh, visual scripting so i thought if i do game development i should do proper programming so that is why after seeing that shot i opened unity because i already had Unity. i was planning to learn game development for a long time but i just didn't do it and then i looked up a tutorial and the way i learn any skill or software is by going on youtube and looking up tutorial for the software and learning the most basics of it how to use the basic features of the software or how to do the basic things of a skill that i'm trying to learn so once i have gotten the basics i start experimenting and then i learn whatever i need based on what i'm what i'm doing so i'm working on a project i look for something i need for that project and learn that specific thing instead of trying to do everything it's called tutorial hell people who get stuck in the tutorial hell where they keep watching one tutorial after another without actually doing anything or learning by putting it into practice so that is something that i try to avoid by any means i went on youtube and looked for a unity tutorial then i came across this box dodging game then i was like okay this looks like a good concept let's go with this and then i started building this game and i won't bore you about any of the details about this game because i ended up abandoning it obviously because the final game i showed you at the beginning is not this game and the reason i abandoned this game is because the learning curve for learning c sharp at the same time as learning game development was a lot steeper than i expected and it was taking a lot more time and effort than i had anticipated right about that time i came across another game engine that i wanted to use now before i talk about that game engine you might be asking why not use unreal unreal is this super fantastic 3d realistic game engine now why not use that there are two main reasons for not using unreal the first reason being that i'm not planning to make a realistic game because I feel like that will take a lot more resources, time and effort. And for my first few games, I want to keep them small, start to finish, complete the game, put it out for people to play. That is the plan with my first few games. The second, <laughs> you think? the second reason for not using Unreal is because I need a lot of storage for me to use Unreal and I don't have it. I am what you may call a data hoarder and I almost have everything that I've ever gathered in terms of data on my storage. So with that in mind, Unreal was not an option that I would go for. Maybe in future, when once I have some experience and I plan to make unrealistic games, I will go for Unreal. So the engine I ended up going for is called Game Maker Studio. It is a tool used for exclusively making 2D games. It is owned by Opera. And with that, you can make games for free like Unity. But the catch is that you cannot sell your game. You can make your game and distribute it for free for people to play, but you cannot sell it because it does not come with a commercial license. To be able to sell it and make money from it, you need to buy a commercial license. Which it's a one-time fees. Once you have it, you can use it for lifetime and as soon as i started using game maker studio i fell in love with it my you know monkey brain had an easier time understanding it and had an easier time programming in it so i did the same thing i went on youtube looked for a tutorial and the youtube channel for game maker has these beautifully made tutorials with step-by-step -step instructions on how to make games i think that is one of the reasons why i was able to learn it and like the good citizen i am i followed those steps diligently and made this game apart from shooting asteroids there were two power-ups the first power-up would allow you to shoot a cluster shot of bullets that is three bullets at a time and the second power-up would make you invincible even if you crash into the asteroids the game won't end then i followed a few more tutorials added some sound effects added some music added a main menu and then this is what it looked like now the plan was to implement a few more features before uploading it to itch.io which is a website where people upload the games they've made so the community can play them and get feedback from the community and fix the bugs and implement features based Based on that feedback before finally considering this game as finished so while i was setting up my itch.io account i sent over the game to my friend for player testing to get some initial feedback before i upload it on the website and by the time i was done setting up the website he got back to me and he just said controls 
are ass. So I went back into the game and I tried playing it myself. And then I realized that yeah, the controls kind of feel janky. So I fixed the controllers. So now you aim with your mouse wherever you want to shoot, and you can move left, right, up, and down. Now based on that feedback I got from my friend, and some more feedback I got from other game developers, I'll just rapidly read off this list uh, of the features that I implemented and the bugs that I fixed. I implemented dual support between arrow keys and WASD because I realized that WASD is not common universally. So I wanted the game to work with both WASD and arrow keys. Implemented that. Changed the resolution to 16 by 9. Added a high score system. Added a leaderboard system. Added more sound effects. Added a new music that I made myself on beatbox. I animated the sprites. Changed the sprites. Changed the spawning mechanism. Added in recoil. Added in camera shake. Improved the controls. Made some more music. Added in a little bit of story. And added in an extra power up when you start playing the game because a lot of people complained about the game being too hard. So I didn't want to. It used the difficulty of the game, but I ended up giving a little bit of bonus when you start playing. But the way I've set up the spawning system, the speed at which the planets move increases every few seconds. The more you play, the harder the game gets, which is why the high score and the leaderboard will matter. And after all that, I also added a mute button and screen shake button because a lot of people were complaining about the constant music being on and the shaking being a little nauseating. So I added in buttons in the menu. Now came the next big feature that I want to add, that is rapid fire. Because right now, when you left click, it only shoots one bullet but i wanted to act like a machine gun when you collect a certain power up so i wanted to build that feature into the game and i wanted to do it on my own so this is the moment i figured out how to implement a machine gun power up in the game And that is a moment I realized that this is how programmers feel when they fix a bug or they manage to implement a feature successfully. Then I added one more power up, which is the juggernaut mode, which means that you can crash entire asteroids and destroy them instead of ending your own game. So after all this, I ended up uploading it to itch.io, where I went into the game jam section just in case to see if there are any open game jams accepting games. And I ended up finding a game jam called Bullet Hell Game Jam. And Bullet Hell is a genre of gaming where you have to constantly dodge an onslaught of projectiles coming towards you, which kind of qualifies my game. For this game jam I ended up submitting it and from that I have gotten a lot of feedback so far and it feels really nice how welcoming the game dev community is because they have been really nice so far to my game and if you would like to play my game I'll leave a link in the description and the way I have uploaded it to itch.io you don't have to download anything you can play it in your browser so I wasn't sure about making this video but I ended up making it anyway because I really enjoyed the process of making the game so I thought I should share it please go ahead play the game and comment down below what you think about the game here or on my itch page and I'll see you guys in the next one